Good morning. Morning. Why'd you open the doors? We'll get that out. Turn the air on. And run the air for a little bit. Try to make sure everything's cleaned out. Because it's just, I mean, the, the, the stalks and stuff are still spongy, so. You really can't go show corn yet. Yet. But it's coming. We'll show corn. Hopefully. We will get from one farm to the other today, get a lot of it on the other farm, and then tonight I will plant until it rains. I want to plant. You can't plant the wheat. Why? But I can at least plant this field, and I need to plant this field and that field over there, and then maybe get moved back to the north farm. Why can't I plant? You can plant all the cover crops. Several hundred acres of cover crops. Beans? Cover crops. Wheat? Cover crops. excited about the space it's so spacious in here ah the smell of new things you'll love to smell it I just set that back in that corner oh yep my keys hanging out the door okay where's the key I always forget it's down here now to get used to this seat swiveling. Yeah. Here we go. This steering wheel is pretty big. It's very spacious in here. I was in the 8430 this morning and this thing is huge. So as I do my pre-check to make sure everything's running, I mess with the SCVs to make sure everything's running number one and three kept popping out so I was like okay I'll just shove them back in and try it again well that happened twice and number one decided to completely fall out like the the retainer thing where you plug it in that thing that entire assess uh, th 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 that entire assembly flew out and it just started shooting oil out so now we have a dilemma so I really don't know what we're gonna do We have a slight problem. Well, I think what happened was there's a there's a snap ring. I think there's a snap ring that goes in and holds the guts in of that. And it came out somehow? And the snap ring must have come out, I guess. I don't know. I really don't want to get oil all over me this early in the morning. So what were you doing? Just trying to get it going? I was or? making sure everything was set before we took off. Up right. And then they just flew out and I was like, okay, I'll just put them back in and try again. And then that thing shot out. Yeah, and you can't even drive the track now. Because it just shot it out, right? Did you mess with the hydraulics? When you no, turn it I turned it on. It probably just built pressure and then just started shooting out again. So you just started it, started yeah. the tractor. And I left it in flow. Maybe that's the problem. Float. Flow. Where you may make it go all the way down so you can plug stuff in. Would that have anything to do with it shooting out? Could be. Just put it back in. Put it in because uh, <laughs> if we could harvest without this, I wonder if that plastic piece holds it in. No, that's just that's just a rubber. You sure? Yeah, that's just an O-ring deal, or just a rubber dust cover. All that is. Floor is low. All right, do number four real slow. 
I just popped it out of flow though. You're probably going to have to turn it down. Ten minutes later with some hydraulic oil and people eventually coming over to get that fixed and we're starting to harvest. First impressions. It is incredible. Um, I was going about 12 mile an hour down the field. Usually when you're when I'm in the 8430 I'm getting bounced around, shift around this you're just floating on it sometimes you'll hit a big bump and the seat can't really compensate for it which is understandable but it is it's like riding on a cloud it's it's incredible really still getting used to the whole IVT thing um, I tried to run it in an economy mode and it didn't really work that way but yeah it's it's really good we had to change out so number one is no longer in use this would this is replacing number one um, I do like that you can change how fast you're going with this little dial. Um, so let's say, you know, I'm dumping on the go, I can just switch this to whatever speed we're going, just have it at full blast, and I can just kind of mess with it here. Um, I do like all this. I haven't, I don't really mess with this area. I tried to, as I said before, tried to run it in economy mode. And it just, when you got up to full speed on F1, it started to whine or squeal or whatever. So I just turned that off and it works fine. Dumping on the semi is amazing. I get to turn all the way. Still have to turn my head, but not as much. So it doesn't hurt as much. Um, you can, so the cool thing is you can actually put your foot on the brake while it's still in gear. So I can be like, watch, let me put it, put in F1 and then just put my foot on the brake I'm still in it but I'm not moving and then I could just let off and it takes off that is really nice because when I'm dumping and I want it to move as quick as possible I just let off the brake pedal and it takes off so that's really nice um, usually with the 8430 I have to leave it in neutral and just flick it in and it takes about a second for it to actually start moving this one it's almost instant I set my mirror so I could actually see the auger because this one doesn't actually look that far. also have my mirror on myself because I like to look at me. I like to look at myself. As I said before, tons and tons of room. I could put a bunch of stuff over here and I still have room for the, over here. I have a bunch of room down there. Bunch of room down there. Back here I got a bunch of room. I mean this this is the most spacious cab I have ever rode in and it's it's incredible. Um, as I keep driving, I'll find more and more little tweaks about it. There are a few um, inconveniences slash bad things. Um, there are not many. So as, I, as we did this morning, you know, that thing fell apart. We also figured out that one of the hydraulics, this one right here for the three point, the, uh, the seal decided to come off. So that was not very good. Um, on the way over here, the window somehow flapped open and got these completely soaked, but somehow this is soaked. And it's incredibly wet. Yeah, you just saw that. I mean, that's, it's wet. So, that's not very good. Also, the roof is kind of, um, it's kind of dirty. You can also hear, if I turn up the fan, no, you're not going to hear it, but there's like a, there's like a clicking in this area. I don't know if that's the fan. But that's something to do with um, a filter. But there's there's a clicking happening over there. Um, other than that, there's nothing else that I can really complain about, or that I want to complain about. So yeah, all in all, a very good review. You did good, John Deere. Besides this and this, but you guys did good. Where are you going? Come back here. Also, another plus is the cab is extremely quiet. Like, I could have the air off, I could have it completely silent in this cab, and you can't really hear the engine much, even at full RPMs.
Let's go play with the big boy toy. Now, this is not my first ew. This is not my first time I'm driving this. So I am quite well prepared. like the tractor the combine is similar in some ways it's got some of the controls that the tractor has this area pretty much from like here is the same this isn't the same this isn't the same and that is not the same but I know how to use it so it's quite similar the RPMs are actually buttons though so a little bit different. Now I'm not gonna go super duper fast. I'm gonna go my pace since I don't want to mess anything up. But yeah, this isn't my first time and it will definitely not be my last. Combining is always a fun job. Since this yield, this field is yielding so well, I can't get to the end without getting completely full. So I'm just gonna go back to the tractor, fill it up. Ah! This is a fun job. Eh, could do better. Eh, back to the field we go. slash take my job away person yay All right. <laughs> move mother's car out of the way because it's right in my way thank you Reynolds I'm fixing it that All right, thank you. Okay. Ah, so he should have, or should have. He fixed the uh, hydraulic. Also, our fuel gauge was kind of messed up. When I was driving, it was almost full. When I was stopped, it was almost empty. So, yeah. But let's get back to work. <laughs> Ah. This field is done. Completely done. Now we're going to move everything over. Hopefully we have just enough room on that trailer. It's a deep, uh, what do you call it? Deep hopper trailer, whatever. I don't know what you call it. Hopefully it'll hold just enough. If it doesn't, that'll just dump the rest of what he has in the combine onto me. We'll go to the next field. On a good note, I guess it's not really a bad note, but on a better note, sitting in this tractor all day is incredible. You can feel, I mean, well, you can't really feel anything when you're hopping around going 14, 15 mile an hour on the, in the field. So this active seat one is really good good review so far on to the next field got to make sure to set the uh, IVT so I can go as fast as humanly possible 
So, let's make sure we got everything set. We want to turn that on, that on. Uh, we want to do that. And I guess I could lock this whipple seat, but I'm, I'm too gutsy to do that. Alrighty. Let's get on the road. Oh, wait, before I do that, gotta put my delicious food on the floor so it doesn't get everywhere. First time on the road with this thing. Slowly ease onto the road. It's just like an 8430. Gosh, nothing different. Except that it has an IBT transmission and it's a lot nicer. <laughs> At the new field. I did a test on the road. I was like, okay, I remember this bump. Let's see how painful it is when I hit it. And surprisingly, it would still like throw you forward, but the up and down and the forward and back motion was really good. And I actually hit a bump that usually would knock your teeth out in the 8430. But this tractor, it actually, you could even feel the seat stop you as you kept bouncing up so instead of you just hitting it and just like because on the 8430 it doesn't have that weird motor in it where it like compensates for everything but this one it actually stopped you right before you hit but not like abruptly it just like gently made it flow and it was incredible this tractor is amazing and it's not even one of the newer ones it's not even an 8rx oh shush i'm just gonna get in this pothole here I'm literally like on a 20 million degree angle. Oh, is it gonna, oh, it just barely missed. A couple more, a couple more degrees downwards and it would have uh, scraped it. But we are in the second cornfield of corn harvest day, whatever. I'm not keeping track anymore. But yeah, this tractor is amazing. I cannot, I am thoroughly Thoroughly impressed. It is a beautiful tractor. Looks like an 8430. Rides and drives like an R. And I like that. There's also one more thing, and one more thing we gotta test. Which is probably my most favorite thing of any tractor. Is to see how good the lighting is. Ready? Set boom! Oh, 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 wow. Oh, 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 wow. We got, we got lights. We got, we got lights. This is better than the 4850. We're like a, we're like a miniature city. <laughs> Look at my screen. <laughs> it's just lights, lights galore. So in total, I'm gonna see if I can count. We got five lights up there. Six, seven, eight. Uh, let's see here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Um, I think we have 21 lights in total. 22 if you count the one on the auger that is not operational at this point. Well, 23 including the inside light. But, you know, it's bright-ish. So yeah, roughly 20, what did I say, 23 lights? This thing is uh, it's a miniature city now. This, look at that, that's not actually lit. That's um, That's all glow in the dark. I've never actually seen something like that before. That is actually really cool. When I first looked at it, I was like, how'd they fit those little tiny lights in there? But it's all glow in the dark. It is all glow in the dark. That's pretty cool. I wish this would glow in the dark though, because you can't, you can't really see those. Okay, I lied about this. These are not actually glow in the dark. If you actually turn up the brightness, they actually get brighter. I, I, I lied about that. But man, that really fooled me. I mean, it's green. It looks like it would be glow-in-the-dark. But 
It's not. It's it, there are actually little tiny lights under those things. It's pretty cool. Huh. I never would have thunk. Well, there goes the bunny rabbit. And another field of corn is completed. So I think tomorrow, tomorrow our time, video time will be way different. Um, we're hopefully going to start harvesting the orange corn, which will be fun. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching, as always. Um, like, subscribe, click the little bell icon so you can see more of our videos of this and farming and me waving at you. As always, thank you for watching.